dasher and dancer and all the rest. But what do you really know about Santa's hooved helpers? Janelle Walton met up with one of Santa's reindeer wranglers around town. When Santa and his elves flew into Aurora, Indiana, Jingle John spilled the secrets about the real lives of reindeer. Santa doesn't even use male reindeer to pull the sled because they won't stop and ask for directions. <laughs> it's true. Jingle John brought six-month-old girls, Clarice and Noel. Santa's sleigh squad doesn't get much larger than these girls. I'm telling you why. You can't get big reindeer on a rooftop. You'd have to redo all the building codes. You know that, right? Jingle John says there's truth behind the Christmas lyrics. Up on the housetop, click, click, click. Every time reindeer step, there's a tendon that snaps over the bone. It's kind of like popping your knuckles, which you're not supposed to do. But with reindeer, they do it every step they take. It makes the sound that the reindeer can hear so they know where everybody else is in the herd. Because let's face it, the North Pole, in Christmas time, the sun doesn't come up, blinding snowstorm, they have to know where their friends are. These furry flyers are domesticated caribou. It was all of the native people that live around the Arctic Circle that took caribou out of the wild and made them smaller, and now we call them reindeer. Dasher and Prancer could do a practice run on December 21st. They would have plenty of time because it's the longest night of the year. It is when the sun is closest um, to the horizon, the lowest altitude, and therefore the shortest day and the longest night. The Cincinnati Nature Center is marking the astronomical event a few days early with its annual Winter Solstice Festival. It's a traditional family celebration with a variety of activities. We have music and entertainment, refreshments, uh, children's uh, scavenger hunt, um, crafts, uh, winter crafts, a lot of outdoor activities, um, and carriage rides. The Winter Solstice Celebration runs Saturday from noon until 5 at the 1100 Acre Preserve in Milford. For The List, I'm Janelle Walton.